Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the importance of talking about environmental issues in an empowering way, and also the importance of ending on an actionable point when you bring up environmental issues. I'm thinking about this because yesterday I was listening to an NPR program, and it was talking about mass extinctions. And it was talking about how right now, due to human activity, there are tons and tons of species that are going extinct. And it's caused both by climate change and other factors, like habitat loss, pollutants, introduction of new species to different parts of the globe, and so on. So, it's this really daunting problem. And when I listened to this program, I came out of it feeling kind of depressed. And I was thinking about why. And I noticed that I listened to the program the whole way to the end, and it didn't really give any point to the listener that the listener could do to do something about these problems. The entire program was dedicated to talking about problems. And I found that really bad. And I can see how other people, if they encounter things like this, they would want to sort of disengage from them. Because like, why would I want to listen to something that is talking about all these really, really negative things that are horrible, and not telling me anything that I can do about them? Like, that seems pretty depressing to me. But when I think about it, I'm like, that's horrible to have people disengage from these things. Because I think if people disengage, then we're not going to solve these problems. I think these problems are solvable. I don't think that there's any reason that we need to have this sort of hopeless mindset when we think or talk about environmental issues. There are so many specific things that we can do to help protect the environment. We can save energy, for one, and I do that a lot. I've done a lot to save energy on heating my home, to save electricity. Uh, I've done things like I bought a fuel-efficient car. I take efforts to reduce my car usage. These are all things that people can do. Uh, people can also take political action. For example, you can write to your representatives and you can ask them to support policies that will protect the environment. So, for example, one thing that I think would make a huge impact right now, because gas prices are so low, I think it would be a really great time to raise the federal gas tax. It would be probably the time when it would have the least negative impact on people and on the economy, because the gas prices are so low. But by raising that tax, we would be discouraging the use of gasoline, and we would be helping to sort of utilize the free market to push society in the direction of less dependence on fossil fuels. So that's just one example. I think that by contacting political representatives, you can have a positive impact on the environment too. I'm sure that if you thought about it, you could think up tons and tons and tons of other examples. Another thing that I like to think about is gardening, and I have a video on that that I would really encourage you to watch if you hadn't, haven't yet. Uh, so anyway, I want to get back to the main point. I think that it is really important when we talk about environmental issues, for us to talk about it in an empowering way, to have a positive tone, and to conclude with actionable points. Don't just like go out there and be like, heroes, this problem, this problem, and this problem, and then yeah, leave it like that. Because that's going to result in people disengaging from those issues. Instead, we can be like, hey, here's this problem, and this problem, and this problem, and sort of stop before it gets too much, and be like, this is why it's really important that we do something about, for example, uh, carbon emissions. And how can we reduce carbon emissions? And then you can give a long list of things that you can do to reduce carbon emissions. I think that's much more empowering. I know that when I see stuff like that, and hear stuff like that, I come out feeling better, and I want to share the message, and I want to engage with it, I want to do things in my life. That's how I want to inspire other people to feel about environmental issues. Because that is going to be what is going to get us to actually protect the environment. So, I hope I've gotten this idea out there. I would love to hear from you, so please comment. Uh, also, I love when people share my videos, and I love when people subscribe to my channel. It really helps to get the message out there. Thank you!